refrigerator and let them chill for a while. And we've unmolded them, and so now they're gonna be ready to put the chocolate on. Now if you find that there's any excess around the edge, you just take your poultry shears and you trim around the edge. King Kitchen. My name is Sandy Roberts and today we're gonna make Rover Rocky Road. Now here's the thing. Easter's coming up. We're gonna make this into little Easter egg shapes and we're going to paint it up with chocolate when it's done and decorate them and they're gonna be Easter basket ready. So how do we make the Rover Rocky Road? It's only a few items. We have chocolate chips, mini marshmallows, and walnuts for the base. Also, if we want, we can add in some maraschino cherries just to change it up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we've got a double boiler going here. We have a pot on the bottom that's got water, and then we have another pot that sits in the water. And this way we don't burn the chocolate. So we're gonna put our chocolate chips in, then we're gonna start, we're gonna put our burner on, and we're gonna just start cooking that and getting it melting. Now we're not gonna burn it because we have a bath of water under the pot. So in the meantime, in this bowl, we'll put our miniature marshmallows in there and then we'll add our walnuts and we're just gonna mix them together. We're not gonna put the um, cherries in because we're only gonna do that to some of them. I don't like the cherries in all of them. I just wanna do it in a couple. So we'll have that ready. We'll get this melting and we'll be back to you in a little bit when this gets going. Well, we've got our chocolate all nicely melted in our devil boiler. You can see the steam coming off the bottom pot. So what we're going to do is we're just going to scrape it out of the pot there. We're going to Put it, we're putting it on our marshmallow and walnut mixture. So anyway, we'll get that all out of there and we'll just kind of toss it around. You gotta be a little bit careful because, you know, on one hand, we don't want the whole mixture to melt and the chocolate is, you know, it is kind of hot. But on the other hand, we have to coat the marshmallows and the, uh, the nuts. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it in these little egg-shaped containers, like this. I always have another pan ready in case somehow I've made too much, and then I can just put it in a square pan or something like that, and then I have a square pan of Rocky Road. Looks like I'm gonna have the right amount, or not. This recipe, um, these are, it's like eight Easter eggs. And it looks like the recipe is going to be perfect for this. I'm going to add a little bit of cherries just to make something a little different. And we'll kind of fold the cherries in. So now those are two eggs that have the marshmallows, the walnuts, and some maraschino cherries just to mix it up and make it a little bit different, you know. And we got enough for one more. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in the refrigerator and let everything get hardened up on these. So next we have taken these chocolate wafers and what we're doing is we have them in the double boiler now and we're going to melt them down. These chocolate wafers, 
they're going to be the coating that's going to go on the outside of the um, Rocky Road Easter eggs. We put the eggs into the refrigerator and let them chill for a while and we've unmolded them and so now they're going to be ready to put the chocolate on. Now if you find that there's any excess around the edge, you just take your poultry shears and you trim around the edge. I've already trimmed these. And what we're doing here is we've taken chocolate wafers and we've melted them down. They're just about melted. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a brush and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna brush the bottoms of these. We'll flip them over. Then once they get hard enough on the bottom, then we're gonna take, take them and flip them over to the other side and we'll brush on chocolate onto the top. So we got it here and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We are going to pick up one of the eggs. We'll take our brush here and we're gonna put it, we're gonna paint a nice, you can even um, paint a little bit of the top around it so that when we go to do the top, we haven't missed any. So we're gonna do that. These are gonna be really nice for Easter. I got another cherry one. What I did was once I put the marshmallow mixture into the cups, then I took wax paper, you didn't see me do this on video, but I put wax paper on the top and I pushed them gently into the molds. Then I refrigerated everything. So this is kind of a funny time of the year to make candy. I do so much candy at Christmas, but I thought this would be a really fun one for Easter. And, and I'm gonna make sure that this video is out before Easter. The Cast King Kitchen videos are always put out on Thursdays. I'll make sure that this is out so that everybody can make these that wants to. So once they're ready to flip, we'll see you in a few minutes. We'll put the top on and we're gonna decorate them with some cute little flowers. All right, so we did it. We painted the bottoms with chocolate. We let them get nice and hard and dry enough where we could flip them over. We had them like that. Now we put them on a rack, we flipped them over, and all we have to do now is just take the tops of them and paint them with our little rubber food brush we have here. We've got this melted chocolate. This is kind of fun. If you let, and I put it, I put it all on a rack. That way, if any chocolate starts to come off the egg, it won't form like a different shape. It's still gonna keep an egg shape. And then it will just fall through the little rack. So there's one of them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little flower on top. Chocolate dries. Cute little flowers, three probably. There's our little Rocky Road Easter egg. We'll do another one, maybe you can see the front one a little better, so we'll paint it with our, whoops, we're gonna paint it with our melted chocolate. This is messy, so be prepared for this. This is not, this is a fun project, but it definitely is messy. We got these little pre-made candy flowers, and we're putting these little pre-made candy flowers on each little egg. I've kept the chicken. They're really cute and they're really good for Easter. Oh my goodness. The Rover Rocky Road is done. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of fun. I had chocolate everywhere. I had a, I, I still have it all over my jersey. I'll get it washed out before the next tournament. Anyway, um, they came out really good. I'm really proud of the little Rover Rocky Road Easter eggs for Easter. If you want to Come look at that right there. Anyway, I guess the only thing left to do is to taste them. I know they're gonna be good. They look delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love candy. Mmm. Anyway, you have reached the Casting Kitchen. We have made the Roper Rocky Road. My name is Sandy Roberts. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next episode.